Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Stencil Saturday video. Um, this week I have marked out my crossed diamonds stencil. And we're just going to add some free motion to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of stitching any of the lines in the stencil, this time I'm going to use just free motion and I'm going to use um, these diamond shapes simply as a boundary and I'm going to stitch up to them. So what we're going to do is some leaves, kind of like ferny, leafy um, thing. I'm going to start right here and so I'm going to use this center line on, on all of the diamonds as the spine. I'm not going to actually stitch that spine. I'm just going to take my um, leaves off of that. So we're going to stay within this and I'm going to stitch kind of just like this until I fill it up, travel right into this one, and then we'll come back down and do the same thing. And I'm going to change direction. So I'm going to do this one up, this one will be down, and then this next one over here will be up. And then I'll go back and do the two um, sides that would have been half. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the bottom here. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to pretend that that spine is stitched. I'm not actually going to stitch it because ideally I'm going to create that spine as I go. And I am going to do both sides at once. And then of course this one's going to need to be long to fill in the point on the diamond. When I'm up here at the top, I'm going to go ahead and make like a point kind of thing. And I'm just going to do a tiny little swirl that will allow me to travel right into where I need to start the next one. And I'll just continue to do that. Again, a nice long one. You could also put a swirl on the end of this long one that would kind of make it match good with that top. I didn't think of it until now. And again, that top. And a little swirl back out and right into the next one. could go up one side, stitch the spine down the center, and then do the other side if you didn't want to do um, alternate between the two sides at once like I am. And then I'm just going to travel right over to the center of this one. And now this is only half, so I'll start with the big one. I guess it's the long one, not the big one. My top. And then my swirl back out. And continue right into this one. We're just now going the opposite direction. I'm just going to continue in this same way.
Okay, now that that is done, it goes along very quickly, I think. Um, and looking at the diamond stencil, you can see that you actually, let's say maybe you wanted to do this on a much larger scale. You could easily do that by using, instead of these individual um, little diamonds, you could include four as one. I would give myself some kind of um, tick mark so I didn't get confused and make sure I used that same one every time. Um, but I think that one's, I mean, it's a really nice design. It goes pretty fast. Let me go ahead and get, well, let me see if I can get rid of these chalk marks right now real quick here. Probably going to end up with a bunch of fuzz from my last one on here, but yeah. Got some of it gone. But I mean, it's a really cute, I think, design go with a lot of things. So I hope you guys like that one and I'll see you next time. Bye.